Hey, Coach Miller here. We got a lower body lift that we're gonna get into. Got some good stuff we're gonna work on. I'm gonna take out the slant board, show you guys some exercises with that. And then we're gonna hit up some calves. We're gonna get work on the VMO muscle to work on that knee stability, which is awesome for lacrosse players. If you're looking to take your lacrosse training to the next level, then make sure to visit my website, btb-lax.com. On there, you can see a bunch of different programs I have there. Here's some footage from BTB LX Plus. Every program has tons of college level drills that players of any skill level can do. So just get out there, start falling on your phone or iPad or whatever, and start falling, becoming a better lacrosse player, and get after it. So, we're gonna start off this workout like I always like to do with a warm up today. Lacking a little bit of fun time, so we're just gonna get, make the warm up pull ups and push ups. So, what I've been doing lately is I do a lot of body weight pull ups, but I've also been doing some weighted pull ups as well. So, all you need for the weighted pull ups is like a chain with a belt that can attach. Right now, I'm gonna do throw 25 on. Sometimes I throw 20, 45 on, but I can only do like four of those. Today we're gonna do 25, try to do as many as we can, and then finish off to get to 10 with just body weight. I don't care what kind of grip you use, vary it up, whatever you wanna do. There's six with weight. Just take the weight off. We'll bang out four more. About weight to get to 10. All right, don't worry about it if you can't do 10 pull-ups. When I was in high school, I couldn't do any. I don't think I was able to do my first pull-up till I was going into college, so just keep on working on it, hang from the bar, get up as high as you can, but make sure you try to give 10 efforts at it, no matter how many you can do. All right, so we're gonna superset this with push-ups, just 25 push-ups. Okay. So, as always, we're gonna do five rounds of that, so bang out four more rounds, and then we're gonna move on to the slant board. All right, so, got one of these slant boards on Amazon for probably $45. It's pretty cool. You just put it on the ground. You can do a lot of stretching with it. It's got different angles and how you wanna, you know, set certain things up. Um, right now, I'm gonna show you a few things with the slant board. So I just keep it in my car, and when I have certain leg days that require it, I just bring it up to the gym, which I did right now. So you guys can do the same exact thing. So right now we're gonna work on the tibialis, which my dunking guy, Ben Patrick, on his channel, Knees Over Toes, talks about all the time, how it's often a, a muscle that's overlooked for athletes, especially lacrosse players. It's very important on the deceleration, so it helps protect those knees, so you wanna strengthen it. So right now we're on the slant board, I kind of have my uh, back end rested against the wall and we're just going to try to lift the toes up as far as possible. You're going to feel the squeeze right in that tibialis that I was talking about and we're going to do 25 of these. You're going to feel the burn, I'm already starting to feel it. Can't do 25, just go to failure. Get a little bit closer to the wall. It makes it a little bit easier once you get to failure when you're further out. Bang out another five. All right, that's that. We're gonna turn it right around. Still using the slant board. We're gonna do some single leg cast. So you just kind of brace your arm against the wall. 
We got 25, going nice and slow, squeezing at the top, coming all the way down at the bottom. When you come all the way down at the bottom, I still want you to squeeze your tibialis in the front. doing two rounds of that so you're gonna go back to the tibialis and do another round of calf raises all right so we banged out the warm-up calves tibialis now we're gonna do some step downs which is gonna target the VMO we're gonna do it on the slant board so we have the slant board set up like this I have like kind of a you know a brace here to like help my balance a little bit and we're gonna get right to the top get your toe right to the top there and we're gonna come down Step that heel on the ground, and my back heel is off the slant board. So you're really feeling it in this left, right in there, that left VMO, which is great for knee stability. I want you doing 25 with each leg. Twenty-five with each leg. I'm going to switch up. Do the other leg. It's going to take you a little bit of time to get used to the balance. That's fine. Just go slow. If you need to brace yourself on both sides, that's fine too. That's what I'm doing here. Really feel that right VMO. So 25 each, each leg there. So your knees should be have nice and blow, blood flowing through there. They should be feeling pretty good by now. All right, next up, we're gonna go to the single leg split squat. All right, moving on here, we're gonna go over to the, some slant board single leg split squats. And this is interesting, I've only done this a couple times, but as I said, it's in the program I follow, the knees over toes. And Coach Ben is talking about it, so I've been doing it, wanted to show you guys. Like I said, you guys know this by now, I'm trying to dunk. I'm still a far ways away, but it's perfect for lacrosse players. And it's great for no knee stability and um, quickness and lateral movement for your, for your legs, which is essential for lacrosse. So here, I'm gonna have my left foot on the slant board all the way down. I want my hamstring to cover my calf. I want my back leg as straight as possible. So really getting that mobility, coming back up. We're gonna do 25 with each leg. 25. My chest is high, my shoulders are back. If you need some sort of a guide to help you get down and release some of the load, you can use you know, some sort of a bar like I have here, this pipe. So once you get to 25, you're gonna switch it up. Now it's gonna be my right leg. We're here. Coming down, trying to keep that back leg straight. By keeping that back leg straight, one of the tricks is like really squeeze your glute. So I'm squeezing this. Coming back. Try to cover that calf with your hamstring. So get 25 of those. Now we'll move on to the next exercise. All right, here we go. We're gonna go over the front squat now, and I'm gonna give you a little uh, form uh, coaching, and then we'll get into some reps. So right now, I just have the bar. Basically, you wanna hold the bar, kinda shoulder width apart, get under it. You want your elbows to be up, so don't let them come down. Really work to push your elbows up. You're keeping your shoulders back. And you can see like the bar is rested basically in my shoulder crevice and on my fingers. So it's basically rested right there. Just my fingers are acting as guide, but the bar is like pretty much just right there. So when I'm coming down, I want my back to, I don't want my back to round. So I want it to stay nice and straight. I want you to try to get down as far as you can, work on that mobility and then up. 
So here I got a strong base, down, up. So that's basically it. I don't want to see you bending over so you're rounding that back. Keep that back nice and straight. Once you get the form down, you can load the bar. And we're going to do four sets of eight of some front squats. I want you going down at a nice controlled pace. So we're going to go down on a three count and up on a one count. So we're really kind of going to be working on that time on our tension. All right. So here we go. We're going to get eight of these. Got a shoulder, my feet are like pretty much shoulder width apart. My elbows are up. I'm coming down. Three, two, one, one. Breathe on the way up. Three, two, one, two. Three, two, one, three. Three more. The other thing about this front squat is when you get down and you're down that position, really tighten your core. So these uh, squat and these full body movements, you're going to feel it in your midsection as well. The great core exercise as well, in addition to strengthening your legs. All right, here we go. We've got two exercises left. Your knees should be feeling pretty good right now. This workout shouldn't take too long. You know, once you get the warm up in, you should be out of here within an hour, no problem. So now we're going to get the single leg elevated rear foot split squat. So you're going to put your back foot up on a bench like this. I'm going to get the dumbbells down and we're going to go all the way down and up. So we're still working on that single leg. We're going to do eight reps with each leg. Just make sure you take it nice and slow. Try to get that knee to the ground. This is a great one. This one's tough. Now we're gonna switch it up, get that other leg. Same deal. Keep that chest big. Don't want you hunched over, keep those shoulders back. One more rep. So there you have it, just a quick workout, quick leg workout for lacrosse players. It's awesome, it shouldn't take you too, too long. Hey guys, like I said before, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming out, so I have some cool stuff to share with you. Also, in the description of this video, I have my program that you guys can follow. It's my most comprehensive program that I've teamed up with some professional lacrosse players, professional strength coach, They'll walk you through everything. It's very affordable. You can click the link and start on that right away. So you'll have your whole full strength program. You'll have your skills conditioning program and you'll have your running and conditioning as well. So there you have it. Talk to you soon. Coach Miller.